Alright guys, so today I am going to be doing Chiching number 125. So let's get started. The first thing that I have was a bird sculpture by Stengel. This had two hummingbirds on it. That sold for $109 and that piece came from an auction that Eric and I had gone to. Um, grand scheme, I'd say $45 we paid for that. Uh, next item I have was a vintage from 1965 baby book that sold for $12.99. That probably came from a yard sale, so I'd say a dollar or less. Uh, we have another Monet trinket box. This one had a dragonfly on it that sold for $24.99. That also came from an auction. Next, I have a Monster High doll of Abby Bominable. She sold for $24.99, and she probably came from a tote full of Monster High dolls that I got at a yard sale. I also sold a Viking Glass Blue Swung Vase for $49.99. I don't remember where I got this one, <laughs> so I would say it probably came from an auction. I also sold a lot of two tank tops by Spanx. These sold for $19.99 and I got them at a yard sale. I also sold a Led Zeppelin shirt for $25.99. This one wasn't a vintage shirt. Um, that actually did come from a thrift store and it took a while to sell. Next I have another Monster High doll. This one was of Monica Decay. She sold for $25.99 and I think that also came from the same tote of Monster High dolls. I also sold a Boyd's Bear um, mini keychain bear for $69.99. That came from a yard sale and I think I paid 25 cents for it. I also sold a pair of two vintage ceramic flamingos. Those sold for $59.99 and they came from an auction. I had won quite a few pieces of flamingos that day. I also sold a Winnie the Pooh Halloween cookie jar for $119.99, also came from an auction. Next was a set of Harley Davidson boot chains. So these wrap around your boots, kind of like decoration, I guess. Um, Eric won these at an auction and they sold for $39.99. Next was a ceramic vintage Santa Claus figure that sold for $19.99. This next item I actually picked up at the thrift store a long time ago. This also took a long time to sell, uh, but it was a candle by Stella and Dot that sold for $19.99 and I probably paid about $1.99 for that. Uh, next was a vintage Cabbage Patch Kids outfit. It consisted of like a little yellow knit sweater. That sold for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale. Uh, next was just this little tiny PVC Smurfs figure from 1982. It was St. Patrick's Day themed. That sold for $6.99 and I probably paid about a quarter for it at a yard sale. This next item was just kind of a weird piece. It was by a company called Caruth Studios and it was a stone carrot, but it had like a weird anthropomorphic face on it. That sold for $39.99 and I got that at an auction and I'd say I paid less than $5 for it. I sold a black rainbow obsidian stone that had a butterfly on it that sold for $19.99. I had one kind of a tray full of these stones at an auction. I'm down to just my last couple of them. I sold two Schmid bunny rabbits for $19.99. Those came from a yard sale. Uh, this next item also came from a yard sale. This was a baby doll by a company called Goetz or Gotts. That sold for $29.99 and I think I paid $1 to $3 for her. I sold a lot of six. These were from the 90s. 
Um, little Friends of Kelly uh, Barbie doll, little dolls, those sold for $49.99 and they came from a yard sale. I probably paid about $5 for the whole lot. Um, next was a little stone bird. This was made in Peru. That sold for $19.99. Again, um, I had gotten quite a few pieces of those on a tray at an auction. <laughs> this next item was for a vintage from 1980. Huggums Monkey Puppet. That sold for $29.99. And I got that at a yard sale. And I'd say $1 to $2.00. Next was a mini Boyd's Rabbit Ornament that sold for $16.99, also from a yard sale and also probably quarter or 50 cents. I sold a Sunset Cross Stitch um, Kit for $22.99 and it's hard to say with the cross stitch kits because I picked them up at yard sales but I also won quite a few at an auction not that long ago. So either auction or yard sale. I also sold a vintage paper mache rabbit candy container for $29.99 and that probably came from a yard sale. Um, I sold a building turkey calls book for $28.88. I got like four, I want to say, four of these books. Um, they were all the same and they were all signed by the author. I think his name was Stu Bristol, I want to say. Um, and every single one sold. I took a chance on them at the yard sale. I think I paid $3 for all of them. And man, they sold like hotcakes. So definitely people are looking for turkey call books. It was like a book that showed you, I think, how to make them yourself. So it was cool. Um, I sold a 1997, this was an N64 game called NBA Jam 2000 that sold for $14.99. And I think that came with some stuff that I had won at an auction. I also sold a 1970s Duncan brand yo-yo for $19.99. Probably came in a box lot of stuff that I won at an auction. Next item also came from an auction and again it was something that came with other stuff. So it's always nice when like you win like a box lot or trays full of stuff at an auction. This was actually for a Limoges trinket box. It was a cat milk with a milk bottle that sold for $199.99 and I'd say I paid like not even $50 for the tray that that was on. So that was amazing. Sometimes you go to auctions and like the auction house knows what they have. Sometimes you go and they don't know what they have and they did not know what they had when I had found that because that is something that probably should have been in the front of the auction house with all of the the items that were definitely worth more money but for some reason someone put it in the back where it's typically i'm not saying there's not good stuff in the back because there is good stuff in the back of auction auction houses when they do like the box lot area and things like that but it was in the box lot area so that was just an amazing find um, I sold a lot of 13 pairs of vintage Barbie shoes for $12.99. Pretty sure those came from an auction as well. I just got a cha-ching. Um, let's see. I sold a antique um, articulated copper lobster. Come here, Amelia. Um, this here we won at an auction. It sold for $250.00. And I'd say we definitely paid less than $100 for that lobster. It was so super cool. I sold another um, Cabbage Patch Kids overalls set, um, another little outfit. That sold for $23.50 and that also came from a yard sale. Next was a little stoneware. They called this a mustard crock. That sold for $13.50. I picked this up at a yard sale. I didn't know anything about it at the time. I think it was a dollar, so I just decided to take a chance on it. Um, let's see. I sold a Parrot Mother of Pearl necklace. That sold for $19.99. 
And I also sold a Napier gold colored chain for $16. Um, both of those pieces were on a jewelry tray of some jewelry that I had won at an auction. Here's another Monster High doll. I was really selling Monster High dolls. This one was of Sirena Van Boo. She sold for $19.99 and came from that same tote of Monster High dolls. Um, next we have an Ellie Smith Daisy and Button Amberina Butter Dish. This sold for $59.99 and I feel like this came from an auction. I can't remember now if it was from an auction or a yard sale, um, but this one was definitely a desirable one. So I feel like I've been having a lot of luck with butter dishes lately. I just sold a flamingo shaped butter dish for like $50. Um, let's see, I sold a pair of Birkenstock sandals. Um, these sold for $69.99 and they came from an auction as well. Uh, next item came from a yard sale. It was a Lion King scrub that sold for $12.99 and I paid a dollar for that. I sold a vintage Jasco refrigerator magnet. It was of a pea pod and you could take the little peas out of the pod and use them as magnets as well. Um, that sold for $12.99 and I got that at a yard sale. Uh, next was a Philosophy Supernatural airbrush makeup that sold for $39.99. That came from an auction where I had won a bunch of philosophy stuff and I think I sold all of the supernatural makeup. I'm not sure. I had quite a few of these pieces. I also sold a Catherine Lily White Halloween ornament. This one was of a bat and a moon that sold for $12.99. And then I also sold another one which was a pumpkin, a cat, and a ghost. That sold for $12.99 as well, and I paid a dollar a piece for those. Here's another pair of Birkenstock sandals. These ones also sold for $69.99 and came from the same auction where the other Birkenstocks had come from. Uh, there was a vintage 1961 Disney puzzle. This was just a small puzzle. <laughs> Amelia, come here. That sold for $5.99, and that came from an auction I had won um, like a tray full of vintage Disney stuff on. Uh, this next item was for a really large Sunoco gas, um, like a gas station runner rug. Like this would have legit been in like a gas station or maybe someone's garage at this point. Um, but we found this at an auction and I think Eric paid less than $100 for it. And that sold for $350. So definitely keep your eye out for stuff like that because, I mean, you don't necessarily need to have a gas station to want a rug like this. Like even, even if someone wants to put that in like their garage or anything, um, it was a really cool piece. <laughs> Amelia. Um, and next I have, this is actually the last thing. This was for a tree frog figure um, by someone named Hans Ochtziger. I know I'm butchering that. Uh, that sold for $59.99 and that also came from an auction. All right, so that is pretty much everything for this cha-ching. Um, at the end of the video, I typically tell you guys uh, how eBay has been going. Um, as far as the last, what would it be, 30 days, I am down 1.3%, so not as much as I had been lately. Um, sales are, I still, like I wanna say, <laughs> someone wanted to join me. Um, so sales are doing okay. I'm still having sales, but you know, it, it could be better. It could definitely <laughs> be better. I mean, I guess it could be worse as well, so knock on wood that it's not worse, but there's always room for better. Um, so the, the times, and I always say this, the times when like sales aren't so great, just keep focusing on listing stuff, keep focusing on um, sourcing good products, 
and oh, I love you too. She's giving me kisses. Um, and just focus on on listing. Get your stuff listed because if it's not listed, it's not selling, and you're not making any money regardless. So it needs to be listed. And I have to tell myself this stuff too. So this is motivation for me as well, not just for you guys. I have to tell myself that at the same time. Um, so like today, for instance, is an auction day. Eric is currently at the auction. I also recorded two YouTube videos today. So, and then I'm gonna be editing probably both YouTube videos. Um, and it was a grocery shopping day and all of that. And I only got two things listed today, which isn't much, but it was at least something. And I think I sold three things today. So having listed two things might have helped with, you know, the eBay algorithm and all of that good stuff. In fact, let's see what that chiching was while I'm on here. I sold a little, um, it was a subscriber. <laughs> oh, her name is Charlotte. Thank you so much, Charlotte, for your order. She purchased a little um, Gans Little Cheesers um, figure from me. So you'll see that in a cha-ching, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, as far as eBay goes, like I said, I think that, you know, it's, it's chugging along. It's doing its thing. Um, Eric and I, obviously are still sourcing and all of that good stuff so we just gotta just gotta keep at it um i'm trying to think if anything has been going on recently to talk about i think i mentioned in my yard sale haul video that yard sales have been a little bit um not necessarily dry dry but um you know it had been raining the past week or so so that kind of cuts into to you know ha people having yard sales and even wanting to go out because I mean I'll still yard sale in the rain but it's just it's obviously not as fun um but we we still will go out um and then I did I think I mentioned in one of my cha-chings how um you know we had a like a private pick type of thing where um I had like gone to to a lady's house that I had gone to her yard sale and we had exchanged numbers like at her yard sale and time had gone on and you know I hadn't heard anything from her and whatnot so Eric and I stopped at her house um the one day I told Eric to stop so I could like, you know, leave my number again in case, you know, she had lost it. And she got back in touch with me. Um, she's not doing very good health wise. Um, and you know, there, there's a whole story there, but I'm not quite ready to, to talk about it type of thing. But, um, we did go over there and I did purchase a couple more things from her. Um, there were a couple more Polly Pockets because originally I had purchased like a huge um, tub full of Polly Pockets from her. So she did sell me um, some more Polly Pockets that she had and a couple of other things. And, um, you know, I, I'm still planning on going over there at some point in time and potentially purchasing more from her. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in her life and, you know, she does have two daughters and obviously I want to make sure they're okay with her selling, you know, the, their old toys off. Um, they were fine with it when they had the yard sale and everything, but this is all stuff that's still, you know, in their house. So um, she still has to talk to them about some of the other things that I'm interested in. Um, so hopefully you know, I will get back over there and get some more, be able to like purchase more stuff from her. Um, but I'm just, I'm thankful for the, the things that she has sold me so far. Um, and that's one thing, like I, I've been saying, I feel like what I call private picks, like finding people out there who will just let you purchase stuff from them. Um, personally instead of you know them putting it out at a yard sale or taking it to an auction 
or what have you, I feel like finding those people is becoming like the best thing as far as finding stuff to resell. I mean, obviously yard sales are great. Obviously you can find stuff at auctions, thrift stores, that type of thing. But like the golden egg is actually just finding someone who will just personally sell you the stuff. Um, and that's hard to come by. It's definitely not something that like lands in your lap all of the time. Um, this is probably only the second time that it has ever happened to me. And both times have just been kind of like completely random. Um, so, but yeah, I, they're just the most, <laughs> they're the most fun in my opinion. So you guys have to let me know if you've ever had that opportunity to be able to just go to someone's house and they just sold you stuff personally. Um, it's, it's awesome. But like I said, it's just, it's hard, hard to come by. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything. I'm going to get off here. 